Food in San Francisco isn't just about expensive eats. It's about food for everyone. And there are some organizations in the city who are doing really good work, making sure that fresh, healthy, organic food is accessible to everyone. More and more San Franciscans are becoming interested in urban agriculture. They want to build community, enjoy open green space, and most importantly, know where their food is coming from. Today we'll look at three programs in the city taking urban agriculture and urban gardening to new heights. So what exactly is urban agriculture? Simply speaking, urban agriculture is growing food or flowers within city limits. Traditionally we've been referring to community gardening, which is generally a more plot-based, raised bed, one, one individual or household per plot. And urban agriculture has really more of a farming connotation where it's a, a larger area and potentially communally managed as well. So tell me what's growing in this garden. Well, a really tall kale plant, <laughs> obviously. Yes, I, we met. Um, <laughs> this is one of the rare spaces that, for people that lack you know, access to any kind of green space, this is one of the few places they could grow flowers, like that beautiful purple delphinium there. One of the hallmarks of urban agriculture is sort of recognizing that the more diversity in a given space, the better. Yeah. Um, to not just have any one thing, but everything supports each other. I think that the community gardens provide San Francisco residents with an opportunity to get their hands dirty and get, get into the soil. Um, it also provides them an opportunity to reach out and connect with their neighbors and other community members in a way that they might not have otherwise. This is a different way for people to sort of get out and, and engage with one another. Now let's check out DPW's Urban Harvesting Program to see how it's reaping the benefits of San Francisco's thriving urban garden community. So I grew up on a farm oh. and uh, yeah, in Africa. Oh. Uh, the food that uh, grows on the trees, uh, we always pick and we uh, share uh, with other families. And uh, as I drive around San Francisco, I see many trees where we have apples or plums or lemon trees that uh, I can see the fruit actually going to waste right in front of my eyes. And uh, I brought that idea back to the department. Many of these trees are trees that the fruit would otherwise probably uh, go to waste. And uh, we arrange and coordinate where we come and we pick uh, the fruits and uh, deliver to our food banks, to shelters, and to people who could eat them. I'm here with Nancy Wong, Urban Harvesting Program Coordinator. Hello, Nancy. Hello, hello. I need to understand how this works, this gleaning business. The gleaning, it's, it's pretty simple. I mean, you know, we just come and, and just harvest and just like, like for instance, we'll come over here, that, that, that this is the lemon here, and we'll, we'll just plug it like this. <laughs> That's you made crazy. that look so good and so easy. Yeah. Okay, so now the trick is, how do I not hurt the branches? You just I go, just go yeah. kind of gently. There, you said like those. Oh, yeah. like the little, okay. Like a claw in the pole. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this. All the homeowners that I have visit, they, they're all great. Each and every one is so different and so passionate about where their food goes to, the private property owners giving us the food and uh, where it's going to. They are very happy that, that it's not letting the food go to waste. You doing hot ah. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. You're natural. Tell me more. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> From backyards to back lots, let's take a look at the delicious food and community bonding being cultivated at the amazing nonprofit, The Free Farm. My idea was to start growing food and giving it away uh, and uh, getting my neighbors to grow food if they had space and having some kind of a weekly event that brought people together. My idea was not so much to run a food program, this time around, but to share the wealth of all the abundance that's out there. Both of our projects, including me, we're all volunteers, and it's part of our philosophy of 
working together and doing good work together. What, what's the most rewarding aspect of volunteering for, for the Free Farm Stand for you? Well, you could say generically there's satisfaction in volunteering, but for this, there's something about giving food away. It's just giving something. I've picked it up, I've brought it in, I've sorted it, I give it to you. It's just so great. I mean, it's so almost primitive to, to be able to give something so basic to somebody else. Now serving numbers 40 to 49. Numbers 40 to 49, come on down. We have the capability of producing this food. In San Francisco, you can grow food all year round. And so the idea that we are capable of producing food within our own backyards and what we're here at the free market for is to demonstrate an abundance of food. And I think that by giving it away for free, we can show individuals that you don't, it doesn't have to be a commodity. Part of what we're doing is building community and trying to get to know each other. Because the real strength of any, anything like this are the connections. We were talking about connections and how things, well, the more connections you can make, the more you can have a, a stronger power and you don't have to rely on money. And so that's why we really appreciate people power, the old idea of people power. In this episode, we've seen how urban farms and gardens provide so much more than just fresh fruits and vegetables. They're a place where San Franciscans can meet their neighbors, feel the sun on their faces, get some dirt in their fingers, and taste the freshest produce available anywhere. They can be a place where we give back by raising food to donate to those in need and where we teach our children about fresh, healthy food and our connection to the earth and the environment. I'm sure you'll agree, it's truly inspiring to see all that can be accomplished when communities come together to make good things happen.